Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Capron Park Zoo has a number of activities planned for April Vacation Week for kids of all ages. We spoke with Curator of Education Melanie Fernandez to learn more. Just touching base with everyone. Uh, just a reminder, the zoo is open. We're actually open all year round. Right now we are still on cold season hours, so we are open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. with a final ticket sale at 3 p.m. Now probably around April vacation or a little bit after, we will be switching to summer hours. We don't have an exact date for that yet. With April vacation week, we do have a lot of things coming up because of course Earth Day happens during April vacation week. So during the week, uh, you can find this on the zoo's Facebook page, but we have story time on Tuesday and Thursday. That is free with zoo admission. Uh, the, we'll be doing a story here in the zoo that animal based and kids of any age are welcome to attend. On Wednesday, we will be offering the Capron Park Zoo Creativity Corner painting class just like we did for February vacation. We'll be revealing what the kids would be painting and those boxes will be available in the gift shop. Our hope is that we'll be able to run that on site if the weather is nice and kids can come here and do the class with our program coordinator, Corey Shoemaker. But if it's raining, we'll do it just as a Zoom session um, rather than both. That weekend, the Saturday, we'll be having a storyteller singer come in and tell stories and do songs that have to do with Earth Day and conservation. That's a great thing for kids to come and enjoy. That would be April 23rd the 30th of April. We have an adult zoo academy on how to uh, garden with native plants and ones that you can look for in the stores coming up. It's a little bit early to start planting them, but it's a good thing to sort of start taking care of and watching for as the season progresses. Big one that we're really excited for this year, we have two right in a row on the 7th of May, which is the Saturday before the official Migratory Bird Day. We are doing a couple of things that weekend. We are gonna be doing a night hike at Nickerson Walking Woods starting at 7.30, where families can come. And of course, we're gonna do a night hike down those trails. We're even going to hopefully get to do some zoo in the sky work, which is of course identifying and learning about constellations. On the 14th is World Migratory Bird Day. So a great day to get out there and do some bird watching and use your Merlin ID app and your eBird to uh, upload what you see. It's so important that the communities get involved in letting us know what birds are out there bird populations have been in decline and with avian flu knowing how many songbirds are coming through is so so important to scientists so they can start to pinpoint where the hot spots for that illness are. On World Migratory Bird Day that evening is the official Dim the Lights Night and Capron Park Zoo will be participating in that. Dim the Lights Night is when we encourage all people around the world to dim your outdoor lights for a single night. Lighting outdoors at night is a hazard for migrating birds, uh, causes a lot of window strikes and a lot of them die. Something like three billion birds a year die in bird strikes from windows. So we recommend that everyone find a way to dim the lights that night. We know people need lights on outside for security and we completely understand that. But it's a good night to maybe choose which lights are on. It's a good time to maybe review what your lighting is outdoors. Maybe switch to motion sensors, switch to yellow LED lights rather than blue LED lights, which is less of a problem for bird vision. Attleboro has been a wonderful community for community science, and this is just another way to show the power of this community.